Hey, I'm Jordan, and we're here at Powder 7 HQ. Matt and I have been skiing the Rossignol Cinder Free 110, an amazing, chargy, yet playful ski. We got an incredible powder day on the ski at Wolf Creek, where we got 18 inches of pow, bluebird day, and it performed exceptionally well. What do you think about it, Matt? Yeah, it's been really fun to test it this spring. I've taken it uh, to Aspen Highlands and Ajax, bunch of days at Loveland, Wolf Creek, like Jordan said. And basically, Rosignol introduced this ski for 2024, but it's on early release this spring as a mashup between the Sender ski, which is pretty aggressive directional, and the wider 118 Black Ops, which has an almost center recommended mount point and is heavy, but pretty pivoty. Um, so it's almost as if those two skis had a baby, and thus it's the Sender Free 110. They're gonna follow up in coming seasons with other Sender Frees. Uh, but for this flagship, we wanted to put it through the ringer as best we could. So uh, let's take it to snow and get you some POV footage with a bunch of our thoughts. Jordan, take it away. All right, to the snow we go. Matt and I had an incredible day here on these skis. We were both on them and we were absolutely thrilled with their powder performance. The Rosignol Sender Free 110 has that nice surfy feel that you want from a ski that's 110 underfoot and should ski the pow well. Look at Matt go, we were absolutely thrilled skiing these in the deep. I've really come to love the 110 with this year because you get a powder ski out of it and you also get a ski that still skis great when it's not powder, when it's chopped up, or even if you just get a straight up rumor day. Whereas something that's 115 or bigger underfoot slays the pow, but when the pow is skied up, you start feeling it a bit in your knees, ski doesn't ski as well, it's kind of slow to respond. So I really like the versatility that a 110 ski offers. The Rossi Sender 110 Free is a little deceptive because there's something about, I don't know, the color of the ski or the shapes of the tips and tails that make them seem a little smaller than they actually are. When I check them, they're 140 at the tips, 133 at the tails, which is pretty wide for a 110 ski. That keeps the radius tight. It also gives you a ton of float when you do get a deep day. Well, it's called the Sender Free 110, so I think we're gonna have to get up in the air and send it. Matt and I were gushing about this ski after taking some airs with it. It's super supportive underfoot. You can stomp the landings. You feel the ski's stiffness there. It makes total sense to me why Rossi's pro athletes are riding these skis in the free ride world tour with the way they stomp landings. Let's take a moment to admire the graphics that everyone seemed to universally love and talk some tech specs before we get back on the snow. These have air tip construction and the tips and tails to try to bring down the weight of those areas of the ski. They've got plenty of well thought out tip and tail rocker to keep it free on the snow while also keeping yourself planted when on firm snow. I liked the ski in all aspects of skiing, but where it was really 11 out of 10 and hit it out of the park was on some skied up snow and semi-soft, semi-hard snow, especially when you start ripping and you gotta ride it out and really hope the skis under you are dependable. Do you know those moments when you do an air or you just get the speed really going and then you gotta ride it out for a few turns to get things back under control? That's where this ski shines. Another area where the Sender Free 110 shines is a run like this, where you get a soft turn, then a hard chalky turn. You don't know what's coming next. But these skis are so confidence inspiring underfoot, you feel like you're always ready for whatever the mountain throws at you next. The Sender Free 110 can be a bulldozer when you need it to, and it can just chomp through the snow to dump speed. I tried these for a hot minute in the bumps and overall I liked them. Sometimes I find a little bit of a softer ski easier in the bumps, but that said, it's not like I was getting bucked around by these things and they felt nimble underfoot. Similarly in trees, I really liked the Rossi Sender Free 110. It's stiff, but yet it's still super nimble, super pivoty, super quick. There are some lighter skis that can be a hair quicker, but not by much. One test I like to do with skis is to ski with my kids with them because then I learn, are they bulky? Are they difficult to manage if I'm skiing slower? These skis are nimble and quick, but they do like to be on edge a little bit more than skidding. So you do have to stay on top of them just a tiny bit. Some upside of that is like you see here, these skis are at home in the steeps, making some jump turns in situations where you feel like you got a nail every turn. Now these are 110 underfoot, so they're best suited for soft snow, but they do carve really well. That stiffer construction makes them trench some turns and are super dependable on groomers. 
No X Games medals will be awarded to me, unfortunately, but I did get these skis in the park to give them a try, and I had fun on them. They felt a little lighter than I expected and great on the landings. So there it is. I wouldn't mind a few more Bluebird Pow Days like the one we had on this ski. I'd take some of those. That's the Rossi Center Free 110 for you. And you can find this ski currently hint hint and also uh, through next season at powder7.com and here at our world headquarters in Golden. Happy turns. If you're ready to shop or need more info about the Sender Free 110, go to powder7.com and we've also got some special sizing info about this ski there. Feel free to also put comments below. We'll try to answer them and feedback is appreciated to help us with future videos, so leave your feedback there. Happy turns and enjoy the snow.